Hi, this is Ryan. We are in part three or four or 10 or whatever of the creation of a solicitations mechanism on our WordPress site. We've created a solicitation, custom fields for that solicitation, restricted it to those who are signed in, and also enabled automatic expiration, expiration, excuse me, of the solicitation so that we don't have to go back in at the deadline and manually uh, disable them so that they are in our drafts. The next thing that we want to do is create a list page for all of the solicitations to appear. And doing so will require us to create a new template in the pods template section. So you can see in our previous video, we had created a solicitation detail page to print all of these fields. Now we're going to create a solicitation list page that may just print a few of these fields. It will act as a previewer, maybe some metadata like the number, the solicitation type, the deadline, and the summary. So users who are not logged in can see the list and get a sense of what we're offering before ever registering and then logging in. But one of the big ones that they won't be able to do, they won't be able to download any of the attachments or see the contact information. Okay, so the same steps apply here to the previous solicitation detail template that we created where we're just using the pods um, pods information that we gathered from their documentation to print these pages. And what we're going to do next is use a shortcut to get this solicitation list to appear. So this is ultimately where we want to go. We want to have all of these active solicitations printed on one page and then you can click on them for more information. If you're not logged in, you will be redirected as we saw in the previous video. If you are logged in, you will see the additional information such as the download. So to do that, we need to create a new page and we will go into pages. And we've already created one so we'll just navigate to that. We called it solicitations. And it's actually called current solicitations. Let's go into edit and see what we did. So we have some generic content here that all of the solicitations are displayed below. And um, you can preview them without logging in but then to see all the extra information you need to register. And then we have a short code line here. We are going to get the solicitation pod template. You can see it here. And then we are going to limit the number of solicitations we want to print on this single page to 10, but enable pagination. So if we have more than 10, we have the paginated pages uh, so that we can go to page two, page three, etc. And then we will also <clears throat> give the template name, which was solicitation, excuse me. So this pods name, we're actually taking from going to edit pods. We're taking from this. Okay. So creating that page will give us this look where we can see cattle rancher website design, the one we created, as well as another one that we had previously created. So let's limit the pagination to one. And refresh our solicitation list and you can see that we get the option to go to the next page to see the subsequent 
solicitations. We have the number, type, deadline, and summary all printed, but no downloads. And then let's just say this one expired already. So let's go back to that individual solicitation. Let's click Edit and give it an expiration of today. And so what that will do is just prevent these opportunities from being shown on the um, solicitations list once they automatically expire. So let's just go to current solicitations as a logged out user. Just as we were when we were logged in, we can see the solicitation information. But again, once we try to access that additional detail section, we are navigated to the registration page. And then we just passed the 24 minute mark and the previous solicitation we had created has now expired, so the only thing on this list we see is the old one that we had created. So to recap, we have now created a detailed page, a list page. We've restricted some of those data points to logged in users and captured additional information about them in the registration. And we've also added functionality so that the solicitations expire on their each respective deadline that they have. So moving forward, we're going to take a look at how to add Google Analytics events tracking and then take a look at some additional features that you can add to your WordPress site to maximize the bid management solutions potential. This has been Ryan with Tremani. Thanks for watching.